I want to bring you this story published by The Times. It read, Boris Johnson celebrated his 56th birthday with a small gathering in the cabinet room. Rishi Sunak and a group of aides sang him happy birthday before they tucked into a Union Jack cake. The celebrations provided a brief respite after another gruelling week. Well, why am I bringing this up? We heard about the cake party this week. Journalists across this country were appalled and outraged, right? Well, let's look at that article again. Notice the date on the article the 20th of June 2020, during that first lockdown. It was so uncontroversial that a national newspaper reported it without batting an eyelid. Everyone read it and no one cared. It was not remotely controversial. Why? Probably because everyone else was doing the same. Of course, key workers who were in work seeing their colleagues anyway would on occasion have wine and cake. Did they think it was against the rules? No. Did the Times or anyone else who read that story at the time think it was against the rules? No. I know of teachers who would have a glass of wine in the staff room together at the end of a long, hard week in that first lockdown. Good on them. Nurses who would use a break to film a TikTok dance or two together. Good on them. Journalists who would share a cake upon a colleague's birthday. Fair enough. I wonder to what extent we have descended into a bout of national hysteria. Things that were innocuously reported a year and a half ago that no one cared about a year and a half ago are now driving utter fury. Is it perhaps time to take a step back? and dispassionately realise that people who were working in the same room as each other anyway, having a piece of cake is not Watergate. I know it's controversial to say at this point, but out of the heat of this hysteria, I think a lot more people might just agree too.